Hello YouTube, Wes here. Uh, today I'm gonna do a review on Horse Pharma 38.50 chain and the rivet spinner and the chain breaker. I purchased all this from Horse Pharma uh, a few months ago, probably in October, I guess. Uh, it took roughly 40 days to get here. Of course, they're I think that company's based out of China, so I live in the U.S. It had to come overseas, so uh, to me that wasn't too terrible. Some people, if you read about their shipping and whatnot, a lot of people say they wait that long, if not a little longer. Uh, if you watch my previous video, of course, uh, the bars that I ordered from there come in two weeks, this come in 40 days, so there's it could be pretty quick shipping or it could take a minute. So if you're in a hurry for this, this stuff then you might want to order it from amazon or from ebay i know there there are some like third parties uh, that sell stuff on ebay and amazon and i believe there is now a american warehouse for pharmatech chainsaw parts i'm not for sure on that don't quote me on that but i believe so uh i do know that this chain when you get it uh it comes just like they show it in the picture it comes with uh 25 boxes to put chain in if you wanted to make them and resell them i didn't do that it also comes with uh these bags like 20 or 25 bags if you wanted some i didn't i didn't opt to sell them because i bought the i bought the chain so that i could make me some loops for my saws and not have to sit there and sharpen for five ten minutes in the woods i can just if i do the chain take that chain off uh, slap it on a new one and get back to cutting the way I look at it, if you take five or 10 minutes every time you have to sharpen, which some people sharpen every time that they fuel up. Some people sharpen when it gets a dull, it takes you a long time to sharpen. Just, I don't know your sharpening habits, but it, to me, it saves me time. Uh, and then when I get back that day from cutting, I use my Oregon 420 grinder and sharpen them all back up. And I'll do a review on that later on. Uh, if you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you did or didn't like it. Uh, but back to the chain, uh, it's, it's pretty efficient as far as cost. I mean, it, it don't break the bank. I think the spinner, the breaker, and the 100-foot reel of chain was $291 and some change, shipping and all, which it's not that high. The stuff isn't that high. What gets you is the shipping. And when you're ordering stuff from PharmaTech, watch if you're wanting more than one thing because sometimes if you bundle, the shipping is actually cheaper than if you buy, like, one thing. Uh, I think I looked at it like that, and the, the shipping on the reel was going to be enough that I pretty much got the breaker and the spinner free, which all of this is still cheaper than what I would call a name brand like steel or Oregon chain if you bought a reel of it. I mean, I think I looked at the Oregon reel and it was, the cheapest I found was 300 and something dollars, which I like the Oregon chain. Don't get me wrong, I use it. I still got loops of it that I use. But for me, being a part-time hobbyist, uh, side money gig for me, uh, I thought I'd give this a try and I like it. It's sharp out of the box. It cuts good. Uh, it's got holes in the drivers. I think people say that steel chain have that. I don't, I don't run steel chain, so I don't know. I run this and I run Oregon, Oregon chain, that's it. Uh, Some tooth is 
good and sharp. I mean, to me, it looks about like the EXL chain that Oregon has when it comes factory, as far as the the grind on it and everything. Uh, I mean, they look close. The chain does stretch somewhat when you first put it on. Uh, some chains do that, some, but it does. It stretches a little worse than the Oregon chain does. Uh, but I've done about 40 cuts with one chain. Uh, and after I tightened it up that first time, it hadn't, hadn't been that bad to get loose again. You know, uh, you do that first tighten, run it a couple times, keep an eye on it. And you'll see it gets a little loose, tighten it back up. And I was good to go after that. Now, I don't know the quality of the reel to reel may be a little different. I know back in the day, uh, some people got, got good farmer tech things and some people got not so good farmer tech things. I can just speak for the reel that I've got. Uh, <clears throat> as far as the spinner and the breaker goes, I've used it, uh, well, to do the whole 100 foot reel of chain and it still works fine. I mean, it's uh, in great working order. There's a little hole here that you can oil. You can oil the uh, the inside of it. Uh, you get a little dust. Well, I know my shop does anyway. You get a little dust and debris and whatnot. You put some oil in that and you're fine. Uh, they also send you with this a 325 point to go on this. You can change that out. What you do, just let that down. There's a little Allen screw there, back it out, slide it out. You're ready to go. Um, on the spinner, uh, it's it's pretty good quality. It seems pretty, pretty heavy duty. I haven't owned another spinner or breaker, so I can't really compare it but I do know this done probably 15 to 20 chains for me. Of course, I run 32 and 28 and 24 inch bars, so uh, I didn't get quite as many chains as like what somebody would run in 18 or 20 inch bars. Uh, but it also come with uh, the 3 8 and the 325 spinner head all you got to do to install them is pretty simple just back this out slide this in the groove and you're ready to spin and then when you get if you want to change you just boom slide it out put it in and the angled part let's see if it's focused this little angle part, that goes out. It does go out. And this one's got it too. Just this angle isn't as big because it's for the 325. It's also got a little oiler hole right here that you can all, and they recommend in the instructions that as you're spinning the chain that you Put a little oil there and you just tighten that up to where you're going well i can give you a little demonstration i guess uh, of how it does it comes with a block it's this block right here it's got 404 Quarter pitch chain, three two five, three eighths. And this right here, I think one of them's for like a three eighths low pro. This is actually the quarter pitch, and I think this one is uh, maybe three eighths low pro, or maybe this one is. But your chain will slide in there the way it needs to. So if it doesn't fit correctly, then you'll know that you don't have the right. 
you just put it in the center here. Line it up. You want to make sure you're on the center of the rivet. Put it. Let me do the other one. You want to make sure it's set flat. If you're setting an angle, it'll slip off. Hit it, and then you're done. So that's that. Uh, it also came with the chain in pack of tie straps and all that. This is the point for the 325. It looks like it just slides up in there. And uh, that's, that's my review on the uh, Pulse Forma chain breaker spinner and all that. Uh, like I say, if you like the videos, Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day, and God bless.